I know. It's cold out. It's snowy. It's blustery. It's windy. I saw those videos this morning on those people stuck on the interstate over by Washington, D.C. It's crazy out there. But here in Yuma, Arizona, winter is basically over. There's only really a chance to have frost um, for about two weeks. You can have it about a week before New Year's and about a week after. The 10 day forecast is all in the 70s now. The low temperatures are in the 40s and 50s. So I say winter is over. I did cover last night because it was going to get down to 39 and I think it probably did. Let's go out in the garden. And I'm harvesting cauliflowers today. I want to show you my amazing corn. Corn that's over six feet tall. Actually, when I did did the video clips this morning, I think it's close to seven feet tall with the tassels. But it's a whole different outlook. So if you're missing your garden, you're missing that great time outdoors, come along and see my garden and start dreaming for springtime. I'm just in covering all the plants. I had them covered up. I usually use um, any kind of clip or clothespin to hook it on just in case the wind comes up. Now in this area, I just covered them up with flat sheets. You can use a lot of things. There's row covers, there's tarps, there's blankets, anything that you have available that will keep that heat in. And if you can cover them before the sun goes down, I like to do it about 4 5 o'clock actually, and the soil is still warm then. Now it does crush the tops of the tomato um, branches, but they pop back out. Now here's some crazy bok choy that I'm letting go into seed and the bees have just loved it. But we picked and picked and picked the bok choy on our tower. Now we're going over to the broccoli. Now I have been harvesting broccolini that's on the other part of the garden, but the heads of the broccoli are really filling out and they're spectacular. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with them. There's lots of tomatoes and I like to play find the tomato. It's interesting and I'm always finding ones that are back behind leaves that I didn't see before besides the ones that are just really obvious. And so I'm just going through and I'm just kind of checking, seeing if anything broke from the weight of the um, covers. There's some color flower. Now this type of color flower that you just saw, the underneath stalks are kind of a light purple, a lavender. But this is my raised bed area and it's got the tomatoes and it's got lettuces, the broccolis, the potatoes that never came up, some little tiny tomato seed um, plants and peppers, hot peppers. So <laughs> I have to wait until those turn red before I can pick those, but they're coming along. They keep flowering. And I'm going to pick both of those color flowers. I'm looking for any red tomatoes because I did have a red tomato already. I showed that on the community page, but I'm just not seeing any more red ones. But now that the weather is turning warmer 60s 70s we'll have some days of 80s soon this is where some cauliflower was before I'm actually going to chop all those leaves up that is like a bok choy it's a little different version really tasty on salads you can just eat it too now here's that basil that I planted last year around my ponderosa lemon it is crazy and the stalks are just huge but I covered up these two little pumpkins just in case it just got too cold. And it's just a sheet that I covered them with. These ones haven't started to flower. I didn't plant these till a lot later. There are my oranges. That tree is really struggling. This one is a different um, lemon. They got watered this morning, so there's still water in the trench. And here's a couple peppers that were late getting planted also. And they really struggled for a while. So I popped that wood up there so that it would protect it. Here's my cilantro. I've never had cilantro this big ever. You know, it's almost as tall as me. But let's go back by the corn so you can have a perspective of just how tall it is. So 
here I am behind the corn and I'm just going to push the corn out of the way so you can kind of see but see how tall those um, stalks are it's just crazy now I don't cover the corn at all and it's starting to make the ears of corn there's tomatoes right next to it and usually they're taller than me but I had a cover on them last night and it'll give take a couple hours and the sun will warm them all up and they'll perk up and it has a lot of tomatoes on there too they're very bushy there's only four plants there so here's another look at the corn a little bit closer up and you can see now corn is wind pollinated though there have been bees all over it but I'm actually going to hand pollinate those ears so that I get really a lot of corn kernels that um, are in each ear but the plants are just doing fabulously and I have peppers in front of them broccolini on the other side of them I'm quite impressed with that this is my cabbage patch and I have a few of them that are really rock hard solid so I will be able to cook cabbage I can make coleslaw I can do a lot of different things here's my beets now the tops oh there's a zucchini right there the tops of the beets are really good in salads you can you can also stir fry them the beets are starting to get bigger but in the meantime I can just keep adding them to the leaves to different things we have calendulas and then the cucumbers I'm going to fertilize them with a little bit more nitrogen they're not as dark colored as I would like and so there's something in the soil that isn't giving isn't giving enough nutrients so I'm gonna spray those this week but you can see they're starting to set cucumbers now these are all um, like a straight eight they're eating cucumbers they're not pickling cucumbers and over here are those peppers that I told you about now these are extremely hot why am I growing hot peppers because I want to send them to Kevin at Lazy Pond Farms and Tim at Ridge Life and see what they think when they eat them but they will take a while before they turn red and then I'll send it to them lots of flowering on the tomatoes still and these ones in the ground are just jam-packed there's lots of tomatoes in there and they're very difficult to see but we're going to go around the front side and you can see a lot of them I think it's because of the sun that's really attracting them now the peas for a while just kind of sat there when it was a little bit cooler but then about well, about four days ago they just really started growing again it doesn't get a lot of sun in this area until by February the sun is higher in the air and it will be much more sunny back there but there you can see tomatoes there's tomatoes all over the place in there so eventually I will have a prethola of tomatoes and I have been hooking some of the branches up because they were just way out of the cage and you can use all kinds of clips or strings or ropes to hook them up the pumpkins are doing fine they were a little smooshed the the blanket I had on them was a little heavy there's actually a bee inside that flower and I do have one pumpkin set already but they they just keep growing and with the warm weather they will just really go the okra is coming along it will like the warmer weather now these are covers for a light they were just here so I use them as a mini greenhouse for the salary and it has worked I just have left them on all the time there's some broccolini that I need to cut I'm gonna walk over and here's some more cauliflower I'm gonna actually pick one of these for mom and dad today they are huge it's kind of hard to tell from the photograph in the video but they are huge in fact um, the one I pick I brought it inside and it's actually 22 and a half inches in circumference it's humongous there's some more broccolini I cook the even when they start to make a little flower I still cook it here are my onions in the swimming pool they are getting taller they're getting thicker with the warm weather in a month's time you will see a huge difference but here's just an overview of the back garden I'm happy with it it's January and 
everything is really growing well. It's amazing that you can have two summers in one year when you live in Wyoming and you live in Arizona. I just thought I'd show you an update of the flower bed that we made. I moved those great big herbs that were by one of the citrus too. This is a guavi. It sends out those little branches. They'll actually go sideways when they get a little bit bigger. But the rosemary and the oregano and the mint and the thyme, they're growing wonderfully. So are the bananas. Now I have to tell you that over the last couple of weeks, I have covered the bananas almost every night. And I just, oh, there's Joe. He is actually cleaning the windows because he's recocking them and putting new screens on them. But then the bananas are an interesting thing. And I can't wait till they're six, seven, eight feet tall. Sage is growing. The different flowers are growing. It's early in the morning. So some of the flowers haven't opened up all the way. Now this is a hibiscus. It has a lot of buds. Hummingbirds love these. And that's why I planted them. So probably in the next week or two, they'll be blooming. My iceberg rose, what can I say? I've showed it in a lot of videos. I am totally amazed with it. Now here's a Swiss chard. One of the things I learned since I've been down in Arizona is that Swiss chard is a perennial in Yuma, Arizona. Not in every place in Arizona, but Yuma it is. And it can live 15 years and it makes a great big stalk like a trunk of a tree. And you just keep breaking the bottom leaves off and it can get really tall. I'm, I think it'll be an interesting experiment to see. The Icelandic poppies are still blooming and the palm that I moved has really um, set itself well right here. It has really liked it. But I just love that new garden space in an area that was really um, a rock quarry. It was just rock everywhere. Gravel. So I should call it a gravel quarry. But I am happy with it. My towers are growing well. I have to water them basically about every day unless it's really cool out. And I do need to do a few more deadheading on like the petunias and marigolds. This is our little project from, I think about a week ago when we made a pot, when we didn't have a pot and those plants have settled in and they have been blooming. These are just some succulents that I have hanging along the edge of the patio and they're starting to fill themselves in. My pansies are blooming in my little wheelbarrow. These are some starts that I pulled off of this plant to see if I can get them to root. So far they haven't died back. So I'm assuming they're making roots down there. I moved the other one like that inside. And my petunia um, on the patio is beautiful. They are wave petunias. And so they just keep cascading down. And I just have really, I've really enjoyed having them right by where we sit outside. Make sure you like, subscribe, share with the world, of course. Oh, and here's my little area that we added with part of the wash machine. And these flowers, the hummingbirds love anything that that's a flower that looks like a trumpet. Usually they will love. Now I'm chitting some potatoes because I'm going to add them in one of the raised beds because we still have till April and I think I'll be able to get them. I started some seeds. Those are little lime basils that are starting to come up. And here's that one cauliflower that I'm taking over to mom and dad's that I measured. 22 and a half inches around. Fabulous color flower. And this is a little sneak peek of my apron. Are you ready for springtime? Are you ready for that snow to go away? I hope you enjoyed the, the garden update and what I'm doing. I'm actually going to go, I'm going to go where you saw where I cut all those color flowers. And I'm actually going to pull those plants out, chop up everything put it back on the soil and I'm going to plant, I think some cauliflowers again. We're here till April. And I really think that I have enough time to have a second season on cold weather crops. Many of my cabbages are ready. So I'm going to do corn beef and hash. I'm going to make some coleslaw, different things like that. I hope you enjoyed the garden tour. 
it is just so fun having two summers every year. And I'm just truly blessed that we are able to do that. Everybody have a great day. Stay warm, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Oh, side note, I'm fixing meatloaf. So I'm going to show you how I do that.